This is a Violet Jester Media Podcast. This is the uh, episode after a year. So I feel like we're mature now. No, no, not at all. I feel like we've matured. I think we're, we're much better than we were during our first year. I feel like, I feel like we're kind of like a, you know, uh, a fine wine. No, in we're a way. two. That makes us horrible, awful toddlers. Oh, yes. yeah, kind of true. And we're not even two yet. We're, no, we're just we're, one now. Yeah, we're, see, I told you that your puppy would come busting through. Yeah. Um, hold on. Okay, though we had to make a little cut there because we, <laughs> we had an interruption in the studio. We did, and you didn't get to hear the trumpet sound my dog makes. Uh, all of the uh, dogs came running in the studio. Yes. We had to cut it out. Because I don't know, I might put the little trumpet sound in it's before cute. I cut it. Yeah. It is cute. Um, uh, okay, so this is this epic disaster. Welcome. Hi. Do I have my headphones on wrong? No, nope, got them on right. Okay. Nope, they're correct. Okay. They are correct. I'm a little um, uh, discombobulated. Is that the word? That is I'm it. I'm a little disoriented because we started, then we had to stop, and now we're starting again. But isn't that just your normal state of being? Pretty much. Okay. Uh, you know what I think I need right now a beer. is uh, a brewski. I'm very thirsty right now. So this is interesting because when we first started doing podcasts years ago, this beer yes. Yes. was the very first beer we reviewed. Now... no. The very first beer Let, we reviewed. You're just interrupting me. You're well, just interrupting me. I do it. What just do you to, do? Moo, moo. Don't even start with that shit. Moo. What I was gonna say is, this is a different version of the original beer we reviewed. That's, but that's not what you said. You said we reviewed this beer. I was trying to finish, but a cow interrupted me. Fuck you! I'm not a cow. <laughs> moo. I don't. I don't do that that much, but I you now my opportunity. So, Drafty Kill was yes. like one of the very first beers we ever reviewed. Yes. Tonight on this podcast, we're having Drafty Kill, but it's a different spin on Drafty Kill. It's a bourbon barrel aged Drafty Kill, and Drafty Kill is by Monday Night Brewing from here in Atlanta. Yeah. And it is uh, it, the words on it are oak. Rich and decadent. Which I'm uh, involved in all of those. Uh, happy to have all of those in my mouth. So this is a once. scotch ale that's actually aged in bourbon barrels. Okay. So let's give it a shot. Now, you've already poured yours. I just poured mine. Uh, let's say it's the same color as Coca-Cola. It's a cola color. I would agree. Right? Maybe not Coca-Cola, but certainly cola. Oh, it's got a nice smell to it, too. Of course it does. It was... It smells you like know what? Bourbon. What? Um, do I have to kill... Didn't they make Tears of My Enemy? You mean Monday Night Brewing? Uh, yeah, Monday Night Brewing. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm, that's what it kind of smells like. Tears of My Enemies is one of our favorite beers. Mm -hmm. The now, first beer to ever get a five. From both of us. Mm -hmm. Not on this podcast. No. Um, but I will tell you it's, it is similar because mm -hmm. I just tasted mine. It is yes. similar, but it's not, <clears throat> it's not quite the... T I mean, my enemies aren't crying. It's it's very similar. All right. Do we want to tell any more about it, or is that it? That's all there is to tell for now. We'll, we'll be enjoying it for the rest of the podcast. What we think of it at the end. Um, what are we going to do on this podcast? You know, it's it's uh, less than two weeks until Christmas. That's correct. Um, how's your Christmas shopping going? It's are done. Done. One hundred percent done. I'm I'm pretty much there. All I, I have to I'm do done. now is wrap. Uh, what kind of What are you going to wrap about? Buying Christmas presents. <laughs> I bought some Christmas presents. I gotta wrap them, put them under the tree, and then I'll give them to you. That's like the worst wrap I've ever heard. And you give them to me. Oh. Speaking of wrapping, today I saw a biggie log. No, 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 a biggie bone. <laughs> I don't even a want to know bone, what you're talking about. Speaking of wrapping, about. I almost bought it for you. A biggie bone? Yeah, your dog would have liked it. it actually, now I wish I'd bought it. Like a it, notorious B.I.G. bone? It just said biggie. 
It just said Biggie Bone. That's not the same Biggie. If I was, if I was the Notorious B.I.G., wouldn't be, that be a great product to endorse, the Biggie Bone? I mean... You would kind of want to. Doesn't, didn't he rap about it anyway? Oh, I don't know. I think we need a Tupac Bone. Wh- huh? Biggie Bone and a Tupac Bone. A Biggie and a Tupac. Or the Biggie can come in a Tupac. Oh, God. The biggie, <laughs> I don't know. It's the Tupac Biggie Bone. That's right. <laughs> Rapper version. Oh, God. All right, we should play some Zabondo. Let's do that, because I'm really starting to lose my patience with you. Why? What have I done? What the... F- what you're, the just, f- you're just... I'm just... No. Let me rephrase that. I have no patience. Yeah. What um, else is new? I am, I am currently trying to be a human, and it's not working well. Why? What the f- what I am, is it? I am, I am depressed. Mm-hmm. I am blue, yeah. if you will. I've been there. I've been I doing am, that. Um, I don't want to do anything or go yeah. anywhere. I know what that's like. I would really rather just be on my couch right now. Sure. And here I am. Not on your couch. At your house. But you're playing Zapmondo, which is, you know, you're here. You might as well play Zapmondo. All right. You're going to read me a question of I'm what? waiting for you to roll those things, baby. Yellow. Yellow is random. Um, Yellow. Now, this is a game of would you rather. Yes. This is a random question. Good. Random. Would you rather... Have the vacant lot next to your house become a youth recreational center? Oh, center, God, no. Or a cemetery? Cemetery. All day. I, all day long. I knew that answer before I even all heard it All day you. long. Much quieter. Much <laughs> it is much quieter. That's much, an easy one. That's, you don't often get those really easy ones. That's super easy. I mean, I don't, even, I don't even have to explain that shit. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah. All right. So it's your turn. My turn. Yes. All right. Here I go. Go. <laughs> this is. I really feel like we're off on our first show of our second year. I'm just off in general, which is going to put oh. you off, which is going to. I'm going to consider that I was an accidental drop, but I'm going to consider it a uh, drop. So I got right. a green one there. So green. Christmas drop. Green stands for ethics and intellect. Often it does. But not in your case. What is it? Your question is. Mm-hmm. Would you rather? Yes. Slap your spouse in front of your kid. I don't have a kid, and I would never slap my spouse. Or asked. slap your kid in front of all of his classmates. That's one of the worst questions we've had on the show. I think that question is horrendous. I would never, yeah. That's, I would would I, you rather be a spousal abuser or, or a child, child abuser? abuser? Neither. That, that makes, I'm not even going to. I want to burn those questions now. I'm going to give you another That's question. That's like the worst question ever. Who slaps people? Uh, but not only that, who would rather do one of those things? I just I don't even know how to pick that, and I wouldn't pick it. I wouldn't. I mean, would I want to rather... slap the person who wrote the question. How about that? Okay, good answer. In front of everyone in the world. Good answer. That's what I want. I do. like it. I don't even have to ask you a second question. That's, there that's we go. A, that's you, Zabmondo. You went with a write in. This is a shitty week, and uh, we had shitty Zabmondo for a shitty week. Uh, that just reminded me of something. Though. All right, what? So at my job. Yes. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but one of our newer employees. Mm-hmm. Stood up in front of the entire office and read a poem okay. that he wrote. Yeah. This poem was about a person, a male person, uh-huh. who wanted to have sex with a female person. Uh-huh. And she said no. Okay. And the poem was about how he just had to keep trying harder. Okay. <laughs> that's a, that's a, was it a white dude? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do you know how much I don't like that person now? <laughs> but what if the person's listening to the podcast? Now they know. I don't care. <laughs> I will tell you this straight up. I, I think it was inappropriate. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you a couple of questions. First of all, how? Uh, give me approximate age. That he is now? Yeah. Older than me. I was going to say, that's not a kid. You know, So because really my generation, and it's not... Mm, I would say younger than my generation, not as much. There are so I mean, okay, there are jerks in every generation. Right. But I just feel like that kind of attitude is really starting to be washed out. So I, I would have been really surprised if you said it was a, like a 20-something. That At one moment, as a matter of fact, at one moment, I wanted to, to just yell out loud and say, from a woman who's been in that 
position. Yeah, that's, you should have. This that makes me great. very uncomfortable. That would have been great. You should have. And for some reason, I just couldn't. It mm. was, it was, I don't know, my own neur- neurosis or whatever. I yeah. could not jump up and say that. But I wanted to, desperately. Yeah. Um, but from his standpoint, I don't, I'm guessing that he, his emphasis was more on the poem than it was on what the poem was teaching. He was probably feeling like he was doing some kind of literary service rather than some kind of moral service. So maybe he was proud of the poem rather than what the poem was saying. That's, po- that's quite possible. So I'm not sure from his standpoint, he meant it as a bad thing, but still it was inappropriate. It was inappropriate. Yes. And inappropriate for the workplace. Agreed. Now I'm not. I'm is this, not. Oh, well, but let me ask you another question. Is this was this a supervisor of some kind? Not at all. Okay. I am. I am. Um, let's see. I am not a picture perfect. I'm not the poster child for human resources. No, if you, you told will. a few ba- off color jokes um, when yeah. you were first there. Yeah, I still do. Uh, don't tell HR that. Yeah. Um, but I will also say that I pick and choose my audience Mm -hmm. based on um, ongoing knowledge of those people. Yeah. Whereas this was uh, in front of the entire company. Yeah. uh, After not having been there very long. Yeah. That's something probably a supervisor should have put a stop to, I would think. I would have thought that perhaps a manager would have, yeah. Mm. Well, okay. Um, I feel like we should lift the spirits of our listeners. At Please, this point. because I need I need help lifting mine as well. Well, one of the things that always makes everyone happy at Christmas time is is gift giving and gift receiving. I think uh, is always a fun thing during the holidays. And today, yeah, on this podcast, yeah, on this show, uh huh, is our annual gift giving <gasps> episode. Yes, it is. Where we give gifts to each other because we can. Because we want to. And we make you listen to it. Well, you, we don't make you listen to no, it. No, you don't have to. You can give listen you the to the option podcast of listening if to if you want to listen to it. But to. what we do is we just buy random things. They don't. We don't even know. We just go out and buy stuff. Mm-hmm. And so uh, if you've never listened to the uh, gift-giving part of our show, so what we do is we put these in a bag, and you can't. we can't see what they are, but you just kind of reach in and pull one out and... That's the gift. And so. we don't have a whole lot, folks, so bear with us oh, we while we do this. We got plenty We've here. We've got a few here right, and so there. I give you this bag. This is yours, and you give me mine, and then we'll do a little thing where we just kind of reach in. Uh, one, uh, we'll, what, sh- oh, should we alternate? Yes, like we should alternate. you do one, I do one. And- I just almost spilled my entire beer. Yeah, that would have been tragedy. All over. It would have been extremely tragic. Uh, if only you had had a podcast host who would have saved your beer. Funny, uh, I be did great. actually have that. Yes, you did. And that was you. All right. Here we go. All so, right. I want you to go first. You want me to go first? So I'm yes. just going to reach in and pull one out. Reach in and pull Should one pull out. pull the first thing out that I feel? Uh-huh. Um, a, a big fluffy thing? Sure. This is a, a fluffy thing. I'm hoping that it's not going to be... Other things might be stuck to it. Maybe not. All right. I pulled out Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Yes, you did. Um, I'm going to guess somehow... You pull something and his nose lights up. You press something. Press here. Oh no. Oh no. Now we have to pay royalties. Yes, we do. And he has a red blinky uh-huh. nose. It's blinking. All right. Okay, that's enough. Okay, you can stop it now. Uh huh. Turn it off. What did Santa say? Um. Oh yeah. Stop. This uh-huh. is why I bought and this for the, you uh-huh. and not for myself. Uh, everybody loved him after that point. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh huh. What yeah. I read today, uh, someone posted, um, if Santa knows when you've been bad or good, he also knew that the other reindeer were making fun of Rudolph. And he did nothing. He didn't nothing do a damn thing about, about it. it. That, if you watch Rudolph. He's an watched, asshole he's in an that asshole. movie. That's Santa a, Claus is a complete a asshole. asshole. Yeah. Yes. All right. It's your turn to reach into your sack. Just reach in and blindly pull something out. Don't look at it. Don't I'm, look not, in your, I'm not looking. Don't look in the sack. Just pull something out. It's a box out. of some sort. A box it's of a some box. sort. It's a celebrity guessing game name. What? It's a game. It's a game called Name. Yeah. The celebrity guessing game. That's right. 
is for eight and older, which I am. You, uh, barely, you, but you, categor- you, you fall into that category. I do. So basically, uh, it's, a, some, it's a game about celebrities, how many celebrities you can name based on the game. So you can I'm hoping, read the rules. I'm hoping that these cel- – how many names can you guess <laughs> like in 60 seconds? These Eve are all going to be people anyone? I don't Eve Arden? know. Anyone know? These Eve are, Arden? These are going to be people that are like on Glee and since then. Or before. And I know none like of my them. my parents' age. Right. Uh-huh. So there's 57 cards. 57, okay. 57, so it's well, not it's a, a long game. It's a game. game. It's a game you can play one per day. Okay. I mean, one per week. There you go. One per year. week. Mm-hmm. Celebrity name game. I will tell you all about it. I'll let you know how it goes. There you go. Okay. When it, you're a game person. I, I am. Should I reach into the sack and pull out another one? I think you should. Hold on. Hold on real quick. Let me just, let me just look you're at this. You're going to look at the game. You're going to do a card. Here we go. It says... Um, what here, does it say? I'm gonna, okay, so what it is is mm-hmm. I give you a few... Uh, clues. And okay. You tell me who it is. I know what, what I'm feeling right now in my sack. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, I'm going to go for the presents. <laughs> Stop feeling your sack. While you're talking. Okay, so uh, here are the clues. Okay. We found love. We found love. Umbrella. Uh, umbrella. Chris Brown. Chris Brown. And Shia LaBeouf. Oh, uh, oh I don't. It's not Rihanna, is it? It is. How did you know that? I just know it from Chris Brown. But I was like, why would they? Could you imagine being hooked up with the person who beat you? Forever and yeah. ever? I know what I'd this really is. I'd really rather not. Here's the thing. I saw one of these today, and I almost bought one for myself. Okay, what is it? What is it? What is I it? I know what it is. Let's it's, see it. <gasps> okay, here's my problem with this. What? Uh, I, I came really close to buying this exact same thing for myself. Oh yeah. But it's pink. It's it's for a little girl's room. Uh-huh. And I was just like, why don't they make something for for dudes? Even though I don't think pink is a girl's thing. This looks like it was made for a girl. But still it's awesome. And this what it is, it's one of those little things where it's got It's a little, it's a mermaid pillow. The little um, sequins where you you go one way and it changes and and I you gave me a wristband I earlier did. and I have it over at my computer and I play with it all the time. And this is, I'll keep this by my bed. And now you're going to play with that yeah. at, in your bed. Because I almost, you don't know how close I came to <laughs> actually buying this today. Oh, so well, good. they did have a black one I thought That's about getting what, you. Yeah, black with silver, that would have been cool. Yeah. This is not bad, though. It's sort of, it's uh, pink with gold, which yeah. is okay. I just, the reason I got you this one is because it's pink. Okay. Because <laughs> I know how much you like to be fabulous. Go okay, ahead. you have to put it down so we can continue the podcast. To. I don't want to put it down. I like it. Okay, it's my turn. It brings me comfort. I'm I'm pulling something from the sack. I pull something from the sack. What okay. did you pull? Pickles. You got me a jar of pickles. I know how much you love the picks. I do love the pickles. And these are the good ones too. These are the dills. These are Breckenridge Farms yes. kosher spears. Uh huh. Uh, would you like one? Not right. I this would offer minute. you a pickle. No. If you I would. would like I one. would put them in the freezer because. Dill pickles are better when they're icy cold. I am not putting pickles in the freezer. That is the weirdest thing I've I ever heard. I didn't say in the freezer, in the fridge. No, you did say freezer. And I made Go a mistake back and then. In the fridge. I always put, put in pickles the in the fridge. Well, that's what I'm saying. They should. They need to be icy cold. Okay. I will a, put them a in the A dill fridge. spear that's icy cold? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. except for when you have a cavity. Then yeah, hurts. you don't want that. It hurts really bad. Okay. Okay. Thank you for pickles. the pickles. I will eat the pickles. They're kosher. We could have given them to Mike. We could have. We could have given these to Mike Faber, but we did not. Because you hadn't purchased them yet. I had not. And you know, they're also keto-friendly because they're really? only one carb per spear. Oh, and then they're good for you, too. Exactly. Although I'm not actually doing keto right now. Uh, all right. So It's it, a goal it of turn. mine. There I go. Reach in the bag. Reach in. Uh, on the Christmas episode, reaching in, pulling out something. Oh, got something. What is this? What is it? It's it's something here. What uh-huh. about? What what is? I don't know what it is. I don't know what this is. Okay, look at it and find out. Uh, these are emoji stickers. Yes. Um, which uh, obviously I need. I think you do. They have 3D effect pop-up stickers. Yes. Oh, they actually pop up. So mm-hmm. there's pandas. There's uh, little emoji things. And uh, you put them on. Things. Uh, and the fact that. The person using them on the cover is an eight-year-old girl. Uh huh. Probably says a lot about. It does. These it does. It says a lot about you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Because I, I think you, that you'll really enjoy those stickers. Thank you. Right. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Okay. Emoji stickers. Emoji stickers. And a pink pillow. I really begin to see what you feel about me. <laughs> I know what you think of me now. <laughs> that I am an eight-year-old girl. 
<laughs> and I appreciate that. I'm not looking. Okay, but I am pulling something out. Pulling out. I pulled out a drug test. Um, an at-home marijuana drug test. Uh, you never know. Um, I will fail this test, or will I pass it? What what is the what is the pass fail here? I have no idea. So so this does this tell you if you have ingested marijuana? I have no idea. Let's see. Please read carefully before using this test. Uh, yeah, positive. Okay, so it will tell you if you have used marijuana. Mm -hmm. um, and I guarantee you. I would like for you to bring your test back. This will come back positive. The next episode. <laughs> Bring it back and let's... I can go just... I, we can pause the podcast. Mm -hmm. I can go pee on this stick uh -huh. and come back. <laughs> it says you're pregnant. And it, like nothing about a... No. It, here's the weird thing, though. What? Look at this. So like 98% accurate, which means 2% of the people are going to take this test and it's going to say... They that, didn't. And they lose their job. Or it's going to say they did not smoke or ingest, which when and they, they did... Oh, that would be lucky. So though. they're going to get very lucky. Could be. Anyway, you never know when you might need that. I just thought it's good to have in your cabinet. You never know. You never know. I, who knows? Could be something you need. You never know. <laughs> Thank you. Is it my turn again? From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate this gift. I, I don't really want something from the bottom of your heart. I only want the top of the heart. All right, here we go. Okay. Okay. Don't look. Got to find the top of the pillowcase. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a log. This what? Is, it's a log? I think it's a biggie bone. I don't know. What, what is hell? it? Oh my goodness. What is that? This is a tub mat. <laughs> <laughs> because as you age, you tend to slip in the shower more often than not. That was my uh, favorite 1930s jazz singer. Tub mat? Tub mat, yeah. So I got you a tub <laughs> mat with so so that it's not slippery on the floor of your shower. I would flip you off, except <laughs> I could really use this. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you, um, I don't know why, but I've almost fallen in the shower several times recently. I, I told think you. it's just one of those things you get older because I always heard That's about that. That's what I just said. Like your parents, you know, grandparents are always falling and mm -hmm. they're falling in the shower. And I'm like, when does that happen? And it's like, oh, apparently at my age. Apparently it happens it at the happening. age of 56. Um, uh, and if I don't use it in the tub, I could use it for something else. Okay. Thanks for the tub mat. You're welcome <laughs> for the tub mat. Great jazz singer. <laughs> tub mat. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, my turn. I feel something. I'm, is that just feel. one thing? That's just one thing. I don't know what it is. Oh, you got me some hair chalks. Hair chalks. Now, hair chalks are temporary hair color that That's you right. basically just draw on your hair you, with. You could take a strand of your hair and uh -huh. you can color it any color that you want. That's it's a semi-permanent is what it says. However. In fact, every color in the world is semi-permanent because eventually it's going to come out. <laughs> However, my hair already being purple, mm -hmm. not sure. Do what... a little red or a little green streak for I Christmas. Suppose. I hate. Well, I'm, I'm telling you, that's a great idea. If you, if you know if it doesn't work, it just washes right out. And I love that these are from Unicorn Universe. That's right. Um, but you can put them on any hair. You can do nose hair. I mean, if you want a green nose hair for St. Patrick's Day, I could. Use these on the hair on my ass. Anything that you want. If you want blue ass hair, there you go. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, there's no limit. I, I will take photos and show, share them with you. Um, that's also a drug test. Because <laughs> if you do that, you're on something, is the thing. Okay. okay. Uh, oh, my turn. Yes, it's absolutely your turn. Reach into the magic pillowcase. Magic pillowcase. There we go. Uh, reaching down, and below. I love that you just brought up plain white pillowcases for us. To That's use. all I had. Oh, okay, I didn't have anything else? Okay, this feels like a book. It is a jumbo coloring activity book. Yes. Um, to the North Pole. Now, here we have like three penguins mailing a letter to Santa. Mm -hmm. What the hell would would penguins want from Santa for Christmas? A sauna. Who wrote? The letters, because penguins can't write. How and apparently, know? if they can write, they write in English. And they have access to postage stamps. <laughs> they steal or them. Or maybe those are Christmas seals. Oh, yeah. That's not funny. That was a dad joke for you. That's Christmas not right funny. Mm -hmm. It's just not funny. It's Christmas seal. Oh, oh. So I decided to get you a coloring book to work on your art skills. Oh, well, thank you for that. Sure. Teach you um, how to paint within the lines. 
Yeah, I don't have any crayons, but um, uh, maybe I'll airbrush them or something like that. There you go. There you go. Some markers. Maybe Santa like will that. bring you some crayons. Here's what I know that I could tell you. There's So far, I've seen like three or four different styles. I think this is like done by several different artists. Okay. Not like one. Okay. Type. Not one person did this a lot. This is people. also um, a good, I think, motivator to create your own coloring book. Yeah, I've been thinking a lot about that. Might do it. Okay, that's cool. Okay. For Christmas, I got maybe I'll. I'll tell you what I'll do. What? I will hurry. I will quickly color all these pages. Then I'll give it to somebody for Christmas. A colored in color book. Yeah, I'll be like, hey, look, I bought you a color book. And I colored it for you. No, it's just it's a book in color. I knew it. I absolutely knew that you would give me. It's a family tradition. A jar of peanut butter. Well, you know, uh, my dad started the tradition. I feel like I need to pass it along to other people. But this is not even good peanut butter. As a matter of fact, let me look at the ingredients. What the? What do this you mean? Is, it's this not is good. not even peanut butter. I can give my dog. Open it up. I'll bet you it's good. What it, do you mean it's not good? There's a particular kind of sweetener that they put in peanut butter that you're not allowed to give dogs because it'll kill them. Well, don't give it to your dog. Eat it. It's for you. Crack it open. I'll eat it. I'll eat a, I'll eat a finger full right now. <laughs> <laughs> don't I'll eat my peanut butter. I'll stick my finger in your peanut butter. Oh, wow. I mean, um, I'll, hmm. I will right now okay. on the show. You want to? Really? You want to? <laughs> I Here. don't know. We need some crackers or something. No. Stick don't, a dill pickle in there. Stick a dill pickle in my peanut butter now. All right, here we go. I'm okay. reaching into the um, <clears throat> sack. How many more things do you have in there? I have no idea. I can't look. Let me look. No. Because I think I have more than you. Oh, I feel something. It feels like a deck of cards. Pull I think it I know out. what this is. Pull it out. <laughs> I think this is going to help my last present. I think it might. It's crayons. <laughs> crayons <laughs> to color with. They're Crayola. Uh -huh. It's the best brand of crayon. Mm -hmm. So I thought that with the color book mm -hmm. for your to practice your art skills, yeah. you might want to use the best, only the best crayons. Yeah, Crayola uh, would be the best. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm looking at something really, really quick. You're just going to see what color yeah. the peach one is? Yeah. If I'm, it's called flesh, throw it away. That's why I'm looking really quick. Because <laughs> when I was growing up, that's what they called it. And I was just like, really? That's the only... That's what that's... color flesh is? And then they changed it to peach. And now it's apricot. 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 Is it apricot? Apricot. Apricot. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's not flesh no. anymore. Thank goodness. Yeah. Because that would be awkward. You know what would be great? if Because if like why isn't the... this one flesh? That's what I was going to say. If you could get like a brown tone and they just call it flesh and then confuse all the white people. And they're like, what the hell? <laughs> Wait, what? what's wrong with my like skin? Flesh? And they're like, yeah. That, think about all the years <laughs> other people have said that. The reality is none, none of that. Nobody's flesh looks like any crayon. No, it does not. So they should. I'm glad they changed that. Also, um, I one of my people I follow on Instagram. Oh yeah, who's that? Uh, it's a company that se sells uh, sex toys. <laughs> okay. It's called Wildflower Sex. Oh. Look them up. Um, mm, she okay. posted. I'm sorry, I asked. Why? <laughs> <laughs> She posted something the other day in regards mm -hmm. to the idea of sex toys being um, quote unquote flesh colored. Okay. And what kind of stigma that puts on things. Are these like uh, schlongs? Yes, like um, dildos. What, uh, I've seen a few of those and they're like green and blue and stuff. They're not, they don't try to make them flesh colored because no one's going to be like, look, I actually have a real one that fell off of someone. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to be confused that it actually works. Well, that well it's her like... point, her point was they, they, her company does not sell any product that claims to be flesh colored. Right. Um, or, or that looks to be, uh, even similar to a flesh color. You can have a Simpson one that's yellow. They have yellow. There you go. Um, they have blue and they have purple and they have pink and they have stripes and they have checkers and you they can have pretend all kinds like you have a date with Homer. There you go. Don't, don't. But um, the way the reason she said that they don't sell uh, products that are flesh colored uh -huh. um, or supposedly flesh colored is mm -hmm. because of the stigma that the sex industry has put on that. Okay. Um, and the racial stereotypes that have that go along with that with the different colors of. Uh, penises that they sell. So, like the white penises are really, really short. 
Mm-hmm. And the brown penises are really, really long. Mm-hmm. Wow. And then that puts uh, that puts undue pressure on people f- to live up to mm-hmm. what society's version of what the brown penis should look like. Yeah. Yeah. So they don't. They, they just don't do it. In the porn industry, it doesn't matter if they're white or brown. They're big. For I the mean, most part. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can't really get a job in the porn industry unless you're above average. Isn't that true? I I don't know. I haven't seen enough porn, but I would think. Uh, it's just like women, if you're going to be, in the, you, you know, you don't want just average. Well, I don't know. Dudes like average anything. They don't care. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care what they're like. Oh my they're, God. they're like dwarves and pregnant people in the porn industry. This is the it conversations no we get into when we I'm just give saying each other you don't have to have a certain standard if you're a dude. Uh, but I think women like a certain standard. I don't know. Okay, so I have I two more presents in wrong. here, and I think two you more? only have one more. I think you might have more than two, but you could be right. Maybe okay. there's only two more. All right, so I'm going to open Whip it out. I'm Whip it out. I'm going to pull one out. I actually love this. I know you would. <laughs> That's why I got it for you. So he got me a little tiny Deadpool. Yes. Yes, it is. A small um, pool. He's a small pool. He's small and dead. Um, and you hang them from your, you could hang them from Anything. your headphones. Your schlong. You, well, no, you, that would be a super tiny schlong. Your fake schlong. I mean, you're. You could, you, you hang him from things uh-huh. and he, he's called, a, he's a scaler. You can hang him from your car. I'm going to hang him whatever. from my rear view mirror. Yeah, you so can that hang him from I will always have someone hey, willing to give maximum effort. <laughs> there you go. All right. Deadpool. I like it. Thank All you. Right, sure. Thank you for my peanut butter and my Deadpool. Now. Again, you may only have one gift left. Um, there's something in here. Let me think what it is. Let me see if I can fill it. Excuse me. Nope. Two more things. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, oh, what is that? I don't know. Is I, it lint? Maybe mm, it's just lint. No. Belly button lint? It feels perhaps? like it feels like hair rollers. Oh, but I don't that's know. Awkward. So. Oh, it's, oh God. <laughs> see, you think I'm an eight-year-old girl? These are colorful eight-year-old girl hair ties um, from Bella Kids. Um, they they come in wonderful colors like yellow, pink, uh, turquoise, orange, purple, and light blue. And they're because I know occasionally you like pull your hair out of your face, especially when you're drawing. Uh-huh. And I you always lose your hair ties, so I thought how convenient you'd be able to find these. And the great thing is, if I did lose one, there you can replace them. There's 48 of these. There's 48 of them. I don't know 48 little girls I could give these to, but <laughs> thank you. Uh, I'll find something. To do and with I think these. the peak ones are actually a little sparkly. Yeah, they yeah. are. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> What's the problem? Nothing. I'm just gonna stroke my pillow for a few minutes. Uh, are you slightly offended? Uh, I'm gonna stroke my pillow. You stroke your pillow. I'm feeling better now. Okay. Pillow that pillow is awesome to anybody who's listening. If you have any mm-hmm. reason to need to focus on something, get you a mermaid pillow. Yeah. Just do it. Yeah. Relaxing. Very relaxing. All right. So the next present I'm going to pull out is is uh it's called Splat Ball. It's it's a shit. Poodoo. It's poop. It's poop. It looks like poop. It is poop. It's got eyes. It's real poop. It's not actually poop. No, it's real poop. No, it's not. It's real live. So poop. it's smushy and sticky. Stick it up your butt. No, nope. it'll become poop. No, nope. real poop. Don't put there's anything. No, there's nothing different from real poop in that, other than the fact that hasn't yet been in your butt. This is a public service announcement. Do not put anything in your butt, butt. that does not have a handle on it. Really? Keep that in mind. Okay. Because once it gets up there, it's very difficult to get out. I don't know anything about that. Okay. So. So uh, you can stick a bicycle in your butt. It's got a handle, of course. Oh, God. All right. So <clears throat> this actually has a picture of poop on it that says, fling me. Uh-huh. Fling the poo. You could be like a chimp. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Chimp fling, flinging fling, poo. Flinging poo. <laughs> it's not this epic disaster unless we <laughs> talk about poop. And this is for ages four and up, so thank you. Thank you for that. I like the four and up, which means you could be 84 and still have poop. You could still you can give that to your great-grandfather. I wish my grandfather, grandfather was alive so I could give that to him, because I would just like to know what my grandfather... I could just see my grandfather going, What is this? What is it? What is this? Poop? What, poop. what is this? I don't think he would, he would find the humor in it. No, I, I don't think he would. 
I w- I'd like to know a, a grandfather who would. That's what I would like. I'd like to know that. That would be nice, huh? Is it my turn again? It is. I think this is the last present for me. Yes, and then I have one more. You have one more? Wow. So trust me, guys. What your other one was. This is almost over, I promise. I think I know what your other one is. I promise, I promise, I promise. Oh, this feels... Uh, what is this? What is it? What's it feel like? I don't know. Just pull it out. Butter cookie crunch candles. Yeah. Hell yeah. Man, we could light that here in the... In sniff the, that. Just sniff that. Sniff this thing. Sniff it. Sniff it. Just sniff it. Sniff the s- butter stuff. Oh, that smells so good. Right? It smells like somebody's making sugar cookies. Yeah, we should burn this up here. We could put it in this thing right here mm-hmm. or something like that. I think I have another one somewhere else, but yeah. Mm, yeah. That smells so good. So just, for the next I'm going to leave the lid off of this just so <laughs> that we can smell butter in here. Because it just Buttery. smells mm. so good. It was also 90% off. So there's that. I don't want to put that up my butt. No, because then it won't smell as good. No, but it will help my butt smell better. I mean, that's true. (laughs) I think think that that is true. We just lost our last listener. Listen, this, I just, (laughs) before I open my last present, I just want to say that last year we did this. Yeah. And I bought you some gifts. Yeah. One of the gifts that I bought you was a calendar. Was a calendar. Uh huh. And it sat right here for a while. See, now you bought me this. Yeah. Look, I put this, except yeah. it's It's on still July. on July. It's on July. So. I I, I don't even think I opened the little, uh, the Disney princess calendar no, that you got me. No, Because again, you think that I'm an eight-year-old girl. <laughs> uh, if only I had a girl, a daughter to give it to. Uh, but I can only use one calendar let me put this let me move this to and this somewhere. calendar that i'm speaking of this was an actual gift this was not a gift for the show this was a gift i don't spend a lot of time up here other than uh you know we're doing this and and we don't need it usually don't need a calendar okay the best is yet to be by robert browning here you go in december that's what the little thing says we still have a few days left in december we do so the calendar is still good <laughs> And then I might still go ahead and use it for next year. I don't know. It won't work next year. I, I, That's not how calendars work. Okay, you still have a, a gift or two. All right, I have left. a gift left. No, wait. I think you have four or five. No, I have one. I think we did okay. I just have one. <laughs> I might as well just hand this to you. That's so delicious. So he bought me my my least favorite on the planet candy. I say right now we crack that open and eat one. Do it. No, come have on, let's go. You gotta you gotta do it. And I, I no No, we both no. Ha- no, we have to. No. We both have to. This is not a moral imperative. No, it is. We're doing a show. I refuse. We both have to do it. I can't you get can't the even get open. the bag. Can you open that up? <laughs> Why do I have to open the bag? You're old. the man. Here, take one. Okay. Let's eat it. We're gonna cheat we're gonna toast uh-huh. to the new year. Uh-huh. With these orange circus oh, peanuts. It doesn't even smell good. Toast, and let's try it. I haven't okay. had a circus peanut in a long time. Here we go. Okay, he bought me a bag of circus peanuts. You know, the orange marshmallowy things? Mmm. And not to mention, these ones feel stale. Yummy. No, so they're not stale. I'm just, I'm not even going to put it in my mouth. No, you should. I'm not even going to put it anywhere near my mouth. You should. I just did it, I'm and not, you should do it, too. I will vomit. If, you, no, if I, do it. I No. Look, I'm having another one. That, okay, have this one. No, I'm having this one. Blech. Shark no. your pants. Uh-uh. No, it, it's like chewing on chalk. Here's the ingredients. No. Ugh. Yeah. I got to open my Sugar corn now. syrup, gelatin, uh-huh. high fructose corn uh-huh. syrup. It's just sugar. There's nothing else in it. It's all sugar. Manufactured in on equipment that produces peanuts, soy, milk, and wheat products, which means there's nothing about this that's good for you. That's just disgusting. I want to know how these they are up... staying here with you. I, no, I cannot take these home. Give them to your dog. I, my dog will eat them, and she'll never sleep no, again. No, look at this. <laughs> I like how they have to find something good to put on it. They put fat free on it's it. It's fat free. It's fat free. It's full of sugar, but it's fat it's free. It's fat free. Now, I'll tell you a little secret. What's that? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure my wife likes these. Give them to her. We should give her one. I think she likes them. You're supposed to chill those. Don't eat the pickles. I'm gonna eat the pickles. No, you're supposed to. They're supposed to be cold. I just need here. You just open them I up. Now you have to, to stick them. My... Oh, 
Why did you drink the juice? To get the nasty flavor of the circus peanuts. You might out of my be the mouth. most disgusting person I know in my life. I make pickle martinis. That's, They're actually quite good. I know. You made one for me years ago. It was pretty good. Mm hmm. Pickle martini. Pickle martini. Dirt, what do they call them? Dirty? Dirty martinis? No, that's with olive juice. I make them with pickle juice. Um, olive juice martinis are good? Yes. Is that it? Did you get open all of your presents? I opened all of my I presents. I feel like there was something else. Maybe no, not. I have them all. I have my drug test. I have my hair coloring. Your poop? My poop. I have my Deadpool. I have my peanut you butter. You name things. What happens is usually you open these gifts and you leave them here. Every year you do that. Um, not this year? No, I think you should take them home. Okay. Now, you now, can use the peanut butter on your dog if you want, but whatever. You can also use the drug test on your dog. Oh, give your dog the drug test. I want to know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> that means I have to collect pee from my dog. What if your dog eats one of your brownies that you have around the house, one of your gummy bears, whatever it is that you have around your house, uh -huh. and then you have to give it your dog the test? I can guarantee you I will Before know. Before it goes to daycare. I will know <laughs> if she eats one of my... Drug test your dog. Yeah. I guarantee you I will know. Well, you've been listening to this epic disaster, the only podcast that uh, finds it necessary to drug test their dogs. <laughs> <laughs> no one else, no other podcast has that need, feels the need. Uh, there were plenty of other things I needed to talk about today. Also, let me just say that I am very, very careful with what Toffee gets into and what she doesn't get into, and I keep all of my dangerous drugs away from her. Um, to the point of ridiculousness. Yes. You're, you're like the most overprotective parent. It's a good thing you never became a parent. Your kid would be sheltered. You would be the kind that locked them in the room all day long and never let them out because you were just afraid something would happen to them. Yes. I, yeah. I agree with you 100%. I know. I, I've seen you. And you're so overprotective of your dog. Um, so I don't think there's any point, any problem. Except right now, I bet my wife is abusing your dog downstairs. I doubt that. <laughs> if anything, she's ignoring her. No, she's giving her uh, sugar and other things. And caffeine. Things she's, not, she's letting your, your dogs downstairs smoking. <laughs> And having beer. And sex. <laughs> I don't know about Buddha. the sex. But anyway. So, no. So, I would if I had a child, I, I always said that if I had a, a son, especially, mm -hmm. he would be handcuffed to me until he was at least 30. Kinky. Not in a kinky way. I oh. mean, I would not let my child go to the bathroom by themselves. I just wouldn't. Wow, that's really I am, kinky. I am very... Um, Yes, I guess protective is... Overly protective. And speaking of your dog... Yeah, she heard, me. she heard me say her name, so she's back. Come here, puppy. Don't give her one of those. Rick, do not give her one of those. Oh, one circus peanut's no. not going to kill her. Give it to your wife, not to Toffee. She does not get the circus peanut. All right. Say goodbye, puppy dog. Goodbye, Toffee. <clears throat> Go play. Go play with Aunt Maria. <laughs> Well, that was fun. That, you know, um, we okay, have so here's, reached a level. Yeah. So, all right. So, let's go over a few things that are going to be coming up very soon. Okay. Here's what I want to do. What? Now, there's no reason to do this. What? But I want to do it anyway. What? Because, first of all, no one, no one is going to watch this. Okay. No one is going to watch this. Right. But I still want to do it. All right. What is it? I want to figure out a way to do it. Okay. What? Now, I'm not saying yet. That we're going to do it. We'll announce it next week if we're going to do it because we still need to talk about it. Then why'd you bring the shit up? Because I want to announce it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, at midnight on Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. No, you're staying at my house on Christmas Eve. That's our tradition. That's our tradition. You stay upstairs in the guest room. Yep. I don't want to know what you do and who you do it with. You I just know. You don't need to. I just know Santa stays here an awful long time. Mm -hmm. And. So you're going to be here. I feel like at midnight, <laughs> you and I need to put on comfy pajamas, get some eggnog, uh -huh. and come upstairs and do a live reading of Twas the Night Before Christmas. <laughs> well, let me, tell you, let me tell you this. No one's going to watch it. Everybody's going to be in bed or work, doing stuff with their family, doing stuff with their kids. Of no course. one cares. Now, here's the thing, though, is... Um, I'm already going to be in comfy pajamas by the time I come over. And That's had lots of eggnog. And have had... <laughs> Plenty of eggnog by midnight. Yeah, and I just but here's the thing: I just feel like that. That's what ten minutes. Ten minutes. It, it'll be a quick live broadcast. 
was the night before Christmas, and you might have enough. You might flash some boobs. Uh, no, no, I will not flash boobs. I might flash yeah, well, some boobs. That's possible. Uh, that's possible. But let's let's think about it. I think we should. Maybe we should wait and see what our if our listeners say that they want us to do it, we'll we'll do it. What if I'm asleep already? Well, if the listeners say they want us to do it, we, I'll wake you up. If no one says anything, then we won't do it. All right. Good. And even if you say do it, you don't have to listen. How do we know? You're not going to be awake. We don't know. Just tell us whether you want us to do it or not. <laughs> uh, another thing that we need your help on, and I put out this call last week. We were going to do it on this show, but not one freaking person responded. What? One person. Not one. What? I want to do a show about some weird family traditions, Christmas traditions. Right. Everybody has family, and everybody does their own little things, and everybody does weird family things. Right. There has to be weird, like giving peanut butter for Christmas. It <laughs> might, what is your weird family tradition? Let us know. Send it to thisepicdisaster at gmail.com so we can, rate, we can read it on the air and share it with people. Now, you know, we have listeners that probably don't follow us on Facebook. They should. So they would not have seen your question. Uh, they should. Everyone should. I'm eating my fifth circus peanut. That's disgusting, and I think you only gave it to me as a gift so that you could eat them. No, I've never had. I, you know, I don't think I've had one of these in 30 years, if not before, older than that. You know, I will tell you one thing. It, it, you could use these as a door stopper. No, you can't. They're too soft, but they're nasty. They are disgusting. They're pure sugar, but they have a weird... T what maybe it's the orange, kind of the fake orange taste. So it doesn't say anything about anything. It says sugar, corn syrup, gelatin, high fructose corn syrup. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the last ingredient is artificial flavor. That's what you're yeah, tasting. Rubber. <coughs> it's okay. gross and disgusting. Well, anyway, circus peanuts are good for Christmas. Uh, give them to your kids. No, don't. Um, follow us on Facebook, please. This epic disaster yeah. on Facebook. We're also on the twit on the Twitter. We're also we we don't twit a lot. Nope, because we're, we're there. We're we twats. do uh, Instagram a little bit. Mm -hmm. You can follow us on the gram, on the Insta. I don't know. What are you kids calling it today? The Insta? The IG. Gram, the IG. Mm -hmm. We're hanging at the IG. Hanging on IG. <laughs> uh, we do probably more Facebooking than anything else. We also have a website, thisepicdisaster.com, which we put a lot of stuff on there. Uh, you can listen to the episodes on there. You can also go to YouTube and hear the episodes. Sherry's yawning. She's I'm tired. I'm sorry. I am so tired. Quit. She wants to quit the podcast. I, I apologize. I, I am just, I'm fading fast here, um, folks. End your year, end your year by getting in touch with us. Tell us, how'd your year go? What did you think about your year? Yep. Uh, any kind of stories? What did you think about the show this year? Did, are, you, are you going to resolve to give it up at the first year? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never listen to this show Enough again. Enough of that show. Um, we're going to be trying to bring in some more guests. We had uh, Mike Faber last week. We're going to try to do some uh, some more guests, even some more famous. There might be some people more famous than Mike Faber. I don't know that that's true. It's possible. Uh, but in case, we're uh, I'm spitting all over you. I don't know if I, you know this. I am enjoying it. Like rain over there. But I'm, I'm, um, I'm enjoying it. Uh, anyway, so um, yeah, let's talk about this beer. Okay, so it's um, okay. It's a very good beer. I love the draft, the drafty kilt by Monday Night Brewing. Yeah, um, the bourbon barrel aged drafty kilt, yeah. which is what we're having tonight, mm -hmm. um, adds just that little extra level of flavor. Yeah, uh, I'm just not in the mood for a beer tonight, so I haven't drank much of mine. No, you haven't, and I apologize. But you got to rate it anyway. Okay, so my rating for this would mm -hmm. be a three. Okay, <laughs> I I have debated what I want to give this beer. Why is that? I'm not. Spit it. Spit I'm, it. I'm trying to decide because once I say it, it's done. Yeah, it's over. It's on the record. Um, I'm going. Oh, I'm gonna go with four or five. <gasps> I almost went with five. No, that's what I feel about this beer. I like this beer. Okay. It reminds me a lot of Tears of My Enemies. It might even be the same formula. I don't know, but if not, there's a little difference. But this, I like it. I'm glad that you like it. 
And I would give if I gave uh, quarters, I I would give four point seven five easy on this beer. Okay. I just didn't want to go all the way to the top. Okay. With it because we just gave that bourbon barrel quad. I know a five for the first time. So, so if I, you just start spitting out fives now. I don't want people to think that I'm I'm getting lax in my brewskis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> you're screwed up over there. All right. Uh, thanks, people, for joining us. We're going to be wrapping this up right now. We Thank hope you're you having a good listening. Christmas season. Uh, we still have a little bit of Christmas shopping to do, even though we did the pillowcase uh, Christmas thing today. And uh, you don't have to hear that again for another year. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Anyway, thank you. Uh, we'll uh, talk to you next week at the same bat channel and time. Bye, guys. Bye. This is a Violet Jester Media Podcast.